iPhone 5S. The 5S is the most forward-thinking phone we've ever created. In fact, perhaps the most forward-thinking phone anyone has ever made. It's packed with incredible technologies, technologies that are in service of helping people use these devices more in the ways that we all want to. And it's built in a design that is absolutely the most beautiful, stunning phone design in the industry. And this is what it looks like. This is iPhone 5S. It is made of a high-grade aluminum with diamond-cut chamfered edges, perfectly matched glass inlays. The team has carefully considered every detail to make this the most beautiful phone ever made, and it is the gold standard in smartphones. It comes in three metal finishes, silver, gold, and a new space gray. And there are so many innovations inside it. I'm going to tell you about three major ones today. The first is performance. We all want great performance in our devices. And it's even hard to remember the old days where performance meant big processing cards and graphic cards and power supplies and fans. That defined computing performance. But thank goodness we've moved beyond that. Now customers want great performance that fits in the palm of your hands and you can take with you everywhere. And the iPhone 5S is a huge leap forward in mobile computing performance. It starts with a brand new system on a chip from Apple called A7. A7 is 64-bit. This is the first ever in a phone of any kind. I don't think the other guys are even talking about it yet. <laughs> now, the PC world went through a transition from 32-bit to 64-bit, and it took years. Today, you're going to see that Apple is going to move the, move the system forward, the mobile computing system, from 32 to 64-bit in one day. We're going to do it by great new hardware, amazing operating system advancements, and all new applications. So let's talk about the hardware. The A7 chip, this is remarkable. It is a 64-bit desktop class architecture. That means we can use a new modern instruction set, an ARM instruction set that's more efficient than the others use. It has a lot of great technology in it. The number that just stands out above all else, it has over a billion transistors in it. And this fits in a die that's about the same size as the previous generation A6. It's about twice as many transistors. It's remarkable. Now, you've heard a lot about iOS 7, but what we haven't told you yet is it's also been completely re-engineered for 64-bit at the same time. It has 64-bit kernel, libraries, and drivers. And all the apps that come with your iPhone 5S, they've been re-engineered to 64-bit as well. And this will be an easy transition for developers as we've updated our tools with Xcode to support 64-bit so they can make 32 and 64-bit apps easily. And this is seamless for customers because it's completely backwards compatible with all your existing 32-bit applications. And it runs the 32 and 64-bit applications side by side transparently. You don't have to worry a thing about it. Why go through all this? Because the benefits are huge. The A7 is up to twice as fast as a previous generation system at CPU tasks. And it's up to twice as fast at graphics tasks as well. And they jump forward and and performance by our team here is incredible. It's fun making this chart. CPU performance from the first iPhone to now the new iPhone 5S. It's increased 40 times. <laughs> What's striking looking at this chart is half of that performance comes today with the iPhone 5S. And it's even more with graphics. It's increased 56 times since the original iPhone. Again, half of that coming today with the new iPhone 5S. 
It runs OpenGL ES version 3.0, the latest graphics standard. This means that graphic intense applications can bring their console and desktop level 64-bit graphics easily to the iPhone platform. And this will enable breakthroughs in performance for graphic intense games and things that we love to play and use all day long on our iPhones.